Today I have some amazing news. Germany have now qualified for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. This is a great day. Hey everyone and welcome to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube and also a bit of Germany content. So today we have some incredible news. Germany are the first country to qualify for the World Cup in Qatar next year and this is great, great news. Um, after some troubling, troubling years, after we've seen, you know, the Euros was a disappointment. Pretty much everything before that, after I'd say the 2016 Euros were a disappointment as well. But we're on to better things now, hopefully. Germany has a 5 nothing record since that scare against North Macedonia when we lost. Obviously, that was a very large concern after losing that 5 nothing game to North Macedonia at home. Heading into the Euros... Um, we could have done a lot better than the Euros. I know if we'd have beat England, who knows, we could have gone all the way to the finals. And then at that point, who knows? Um, but obviously that's not the way it went. And here we are thinking of looking into the next tournament and seeing what we can do then. But honestly, Hansi Flick is doing a very good job so far at manager. And I'm pretty sure that's not a surprise to anyone here if you saw him managing Bayern Munich. I love how he's using the young players such as Adeyemi, Burt, and Musiala more often. Honestly, I'd like to see them a bit more, but I know that not every manager will be willing to play the young player. So I love to see him introducing Adi Amiverts and Musiala, among others, maybe even David Ram to the squad. Although this is a positive and happy video, one of the problems Hansi Flick is going to have to solve is that fullback issue. Both at left back and right back, there is a serious problem. Um, you know, Tilo Kerr, Nicholas Sewell, David Rahm are all possible options for fullback. That is a real problem that we have. We don't really have a strong, clear fullback. Obviously, Joshua Kimmich would be that right back, but we need him in the center midfield. So I'm here, of course, to talk about the good things. Today is supposed to be a happy day. Um, but yeah, Hansi Flick has created a team identity for Germany and something we lacked before. I really had no sense of identity, even after that, probably that 2016 Euros. Maybe we had some identity heading into the 2018 World Cup, but really since then, it's been bad. It's been a really bad time being a Germany soccer fan. Honestly, Hansi has a really great chance heading into Qatar to prove himself and make a deep run with this team. Um, Germany are currently tied at six um, for the best payout or the, I guess the highest odds of winning the World Cup. They're tied in sixth with Argentina, basically given a 12 times payout. So a one in 12 chance that they're going to win the World Cup. And honestly, six is a bit low for Germany. Obviously, they're one of the favorites in every single tournament. They have been for maybe the last 40, 50 years, if not longer. So I would be disappointed if Germany didn't make it to the, at least the semifinals. They should be at least aspiring to get the semifinals. Of course, based on recent performances, who knows what we'll get. But I think quarters, semis at least, has to be the goal here. I'd love to see us win, but still we're lacking that pure striker, uh, Timo Werner. Great to see him get two goals the other day, but I don't know if we have it right now. And honestly, I would love to see a deep run. I just want to see some excitement around this team after the last few years. It's been very, very negative and haven't had a lot to be happy about with this team, unfortunately. But with another year of development for our young stars, we might be able to be a serious contender for Qatar. Who knows? Um, Flick will have a tough time determining this lineup with the emerging talents. Obviously, as I said, Verts and Musiala haven't really been getting those starting roles in the team yet. But in a year from now, he might have a serious issue of, okay, who am I going to start here? Obviously, that is a good problem to have, to have too much talent and kind of figuring out who you want to start. But honestly, that is an issue that we would love to have. And I'm starting to get a bit more optimistic about this team. Obviously, the five wins since Flick took over is a great start. I was a little bit shaky there at the North Macedonia game on Monday, but still, it looks like we pull through. Vernon scored a brace. I feel like he could have scored more, hit the post, had some more chances, but honestly... Scoring two goals improves confidence. Hopefully he can go back to Chelsea, bring those goals back, and you know keep that confidence up so he's ready to come back in the next international break. And hopefully he keeps bringing goals to Germany because we need him up top scoring goals. Also in the news, Bayern Munich star Jamal Musiala scored his first ever goal for Germany while Thomas Müller had a standout performance with two assists. So great to see Bayern Munich players excelling over the international break. I'm not going to get too, too into details and criticizing um, this team right now just because Today's a good day. As I said, we have qualified for the World Cup. I cannot wait to see, you know, every single game up until then is going to be exciting for me. I'm very, very optimistic about the World Cup. As big of a Bayern Munich fan I, I am, I don't think there's anything more in sports that I would cheer for than winning a World Cup. Obviously, it was an incredible 
uh, obviously time in 2014 when we did that win that World Cup. But I would say, you know, even over a Champions League, I would prefer a World Cup. I know that might sound crazy as a diehard Bayern Munich fan, but I'm still a Germany fan at heart. So I'd love to see both teams succeed, but obviously Bayern Munich has had that success recently. Germany has not. So I'd really like to see Germany as a nation do strong. And I do think it's going to have an impact on the Bundesliga, you know, if we do start winning again internationally, I think it looks better on the Bundesliga. It'll be interesting to see who is included in this squad, who's introduced to the German squad in the next few months leading up to the World Cup. Obviously, there's a full year away now, just over, I'd say, like, it's like 12 or 13 months now. So we might see some breakout performances and some breakout players before then that might have to be thrown into the squad as late, no late additions. But I'm pretty sure we have a solid idea of who will be going to the World Cup in 2022, but I cannot wait for that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more content like this in the future, as well as much more Bayern Munich content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Mia Simia.